Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 6 4. So the statement is draw the shear force and movement diagram for the beam. So you can see this is a simply supported beam and the loading is shown over here. So you have to determine the shear and movement diagram for the beam. So first step, our first step will be to draw the free body di diagram in order to find the reaction supports at point A. Let this is point A and this is point B. So I have already drawn the free body diagram. So this is reaction A and reaction B. Now you can see the loading is symmetrical. So sum of this load is total load is 8 kips clear and 8 kips. So RA plus RB is equal to 8 kips. As loadings are symmetrical. So you can see that this will be equal to. So as the loading is symmetrical. So for symmetrical loading. this R A is equal to R B. So if you replace R A with R B, so you have R B plus R B is equal to 8 kips. So 2 times of R B is equal to 8 kips. So R B is equal to 4 kips. Since R A and R B is equal to same, so it will be equal to R A as well. So this R A is equal to 4 kips and this R B is equal to 4 kips. You can also apply the sum of all moment about any point R point A R point B is equal to 0. But at the end you will get the same answer that R A is equal to 4 kips and R B is equal to 4 kips. Now we have all the values. So we will draw the shear force diagram. So for that, if you uh, you have to draw it as per scale. So I am taking one box is equal to two kips. So second box will be equal to four kips. Third box will be equal to six kips. Similarly, this will be minus two minus four. And from this point till this point, this distance is mentioned four feet. Every two box is equal to four feet. So let's start with the shear force diagram. So R A is equal to four kips. So first point will be this one. Now R B is equal from when you move from R A till this point, there is no any other force. So it will be a straight line. Now at this point we have another force that is 2 kips downward. So 4 minus 2 will be equal to 2. So at this point the shear force will change from 4 to 2 and it will be a vertical line. Now from moving from this point to this point there is no force in between them. So it will be a horizontal line. But at this point there is 2 kips force that is acting downward so this 2 and this mi this minus 2 will bring it to the 0 so this will become 0 now from this point till this point there is no force till this point there but at this point we have 2 kips load minus 2 kips so 0 minus 2 is minus 2 so it will come to this point again moving from this point till this point there is no force so it will be horizontal till this end now here there is minus 2 kips load is applied so minus 2 minus 2 will be equal to minus 4 so this is point minus 4 point so you have to bring it downward and again it will be uniform till end but at end you can see there is 4 kips so minus 4 plus 4 will bring it like right. So this is your shear force diagram. So I will write it. This is 4. This point is 2. This is 0. Clear. This is minus 2. And this is minus 4. Kip. And again this point is 0. 
So this was shear force diagram. Now we will move toward bending moment diagram and bending moment diagram can be find by using the shear force diagram. So first area from 0 to 4 is this rectangular area and the area under this shear force will be equal to its height multiplied by length. So 4 is height and 4 is length. So total 16. So 16 will be its length. So let this point is 4 kips into feet clear. This is 8. So I am not getting any space. So that's why I am going to change it. So first point will be 8. The second point will be 16 kips into feet. So you have to make it as per scale. So 16. So first it will be this point. At this point the moment will be 0 but at this point it will be 16 kips into feet. Now from this region to this region area under the shear force is this one. So this is 2 multiplied by length is 4. So 2 4 into 2 8. So 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. So let this is 8 16 24. So 24 will be somewhat here clear now here there is no uh, shear force so this will be remain that this will remain that again here this is this is 8 16 this is 20 this point is 24 again okay so here it will, it will also 24 because there is no change now you can see the area under this portion this portion this portion this will be your bending moment so minus 2 multiplied by 4 is minus 8 so 2 8 is are 16 so 24 minus 8 sorry not 16 2 is this height and 4 is this length so minus 8 so 24 minus 8 is 16 minus uh, 24 minus 8 is 16 so again it will be this point this is 16. Now area under this portion, rectangular portion is 4 minus 4 multiplied by 4, 16. This is minus 16. So 16 is here and this, uh, okay, I have made a mistake. This is not the point. This is the point. This is the point. Okay. So here it is minus 16. Now this area is minus 60. Uh, uh, this is plus 16. Sorry, not minus 16. Because 24 minus 8 is 16. Now this area under this shear force diagram is minus 16. So plus 16 minus 16 will be this point. So what we will do is that we will join them by line. Since this is a zero degree line, so shear force uh, bending moment will be a first degree line again here this will also a straight line and it will join from this to this clear because this is a zero degree line so its bending moment will be the first degree line here the sh bending moment is negative minus 8 so 24 minus 8 is 16 and it will be again a first degree line but slope is decreasing and the last one is minus 16 further. So 16 minus 16 will be equal to 0. So this will be your bending moment diagram. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you for watching.